In a brand new result released today, scientists from the Ice Cube experiment have announced that they have measured multiple neutrinos coming from a single point in our universe, specifically a galaxy, for the first time ever. In my research in Atlas, we can't detect neutrinos directly, so they leave our experiment as missing momentum. So I've got some colleagues who are experts on neutrinos to explain this result to you. Hi, my name is Asa Muller and I'm a PhD student at the Came 3 net experiment. Uh, hi, I'm Jilik Majumdar, I'm the postdoc in NICAP and I work for the Came 3 net collaboration. We are looking for, searching for neutrinos coming from uh, the sky. Why neutrinos? Well, when we look up in the sky, we tend to look for with our eyes, uh, so we look for light. Um, but there is a lot of light that we cannot see, uh, which we can detect by telescopes. Um, but there is more than that. We also detect gravitational waves by the gravitational wave detectors, and we can detect particles by particle detectors. So neutrinos is really another way of looking at the universe, and by Another way we can also discover other things, especially putting everything together, putting the pieces together of all these different type of experiments. Um, and what makes neutrinos great is that they travel through everything. And if I say everything, I mean everything. Uh, so they travel through matter, um, which is a good thing, because that means that when they, they can really travel from the center of a source towards us, um, uh, they don't have to be produced on the outside. Uh, they won't get stopped by dust like light can. Um, they won't get deflected by other charged particles or by um, other heavy masses. So once we detect a neutrino on Earth, it literally points back to where it was originated, so where it was produced. Um, and that makes them amazing. Ice Cube only detects the neutrinos and uh, this detector is located in Antarctica close to the South Pole around 1.5 kilometer to 2.5 kilometer below ice. And also the size, also cubic kilometer, it's like, it's huge. A kilometer by a kilometer by a kilometer, <laughs> it's quite big. So what was found? Ice Cube has discovered, um, detected 80 neutrinos coming from a single point in the sky. So they just by looking at neutrinos, found a source that produces them. For the first time we have found something like high energy neutrinos that has come from NGC 1068, which is located around 47 million light years far away from our Earth. So it's very exciting. It's uh, an active galaxy. Uh, it's uh, actually a spiral galaxy, unlike of our Milky Way. This galaxy has uh, the black hole in its center. For us, uh, in the Milky Way, the black hole is kind of inactive. And uh, for NGC to 1068, the black hole is active and, it's and the radiation we get from the black hole, it's uh, for, by the accurating uh, dust, uh, all the particles into its black hole and we get the radiation from it. Basically, it eats it's, it yeah. eats its own galaxy. <laughs> you can uh, really look into the sky and look for point sources and similar kind of sources along the sky. And in addition, this is the first time ever that we located a source just by looking at neutrinos. And it's really an era ahead of us uh, in which we will really use neutrinos to discover sources in the sky and, uh, and also understand the acceleration principles in the high energetic sources in the sky because the sources that we're talking about can accelerate particles 200 million times more than CERN can do. So humanity is not close to what the universe can, can do for us.